Hi all, welcome back. So recently we have won the T20 World Cup and these two legends Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma have announced their retirement. Now in Appian what we want to do here is that we want to show the stats from directly from the Crick Buzz onto Appian like how many matches they have played, how many total runs they have scored, what was their highest total, how many success they have scored, how many centuries they have scored and all. So you might be aware about the Crick Buzz site. So this is the Crick Buzz site and this is the data of Virat Kohli here. In the ODI how many matches he has played, what was the number of centuries he has it in the t20 as well so all this data we are going to take that data into appian and show it on the uh, interface here so in order to do that we have done here is uh, we have taken our two legends okay recently they have announced their retirements as well so we have taken the rohit sarma and virat kohli so if you see here the, this is the odi stats and t20 we have tried to show with the help of the api here so in the odi you can see like how many matches rohit sarma has played what was the highest total now and the same thing uh, if I ch click on Virat Kohli so the stats of now Virat Kohli used to show here now how we have done that see this data is not available onto Appian this data is onto the Crickbus server and we have to take that data from the Crickbus server onto our Appian so in this case we need APIs Okay, so in the rapid API, okay, this is a very popular site for the API part. So this is the rapid API. Here you will find the Crickbuzz API link here. And in the Crickbuzz API, if I click on API overview, this, this is the Crickbuzz Cricket. And here you will find a lot of endpoints that are available there. For example, all the matches are there. What, what are the series going on? What are the teams, the venues, the players and all other data are available here. So with the help of this one only we are going to show the data onto the Appian. So the first step what we have did in our Appian was that we have created a connected system. So this is the connected system in order to uh, store the base url and the authentication details so the base url for this one it can be found in the api documentation api documentation is very very important to read so that you will get like what is the base url uh, and what is the uh, the response you are getting and what authentication you need to pass so if you are using rapid api first of all what you have to do here is that you have to paste the base url here so i have pasted my base url there uh, and then in the authentication i have selected api key so if you go in the crick but gives you the rapid api key okay and the so here in the description you can see the this is the name of the key and this is the value of the key and both the things we have tried to show that here x rapid api key and the value once we have done that then what we have did here is we have created an integration to get the player info which endpoint to use to get the player info now that one we have to look for so see here here you can see matches match data you can get it here schedules you can get it series you can get it teams venues and players now in the endpoint to get the player info what you which endpoint to use here is so you have to go to the get batting because we want the batting statistics for a player as of now and this is the console that will open here it will show you which application what is the api key and the key and its value here and in the parameters if you go you will find the player id okay but the, now the question is you have to give a player id here so you can't give any random player id because that player id is specific to each player we have to know that exact player id of Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli how we will get the player id there so in order to get the player id you can also go to I guess teams get player so this is the team get player is the endpoint team id for india is 2 how i know that because if you click on here test endpoint you will get the response here and here you will get see here virat kohli and what is the id of virat kohli 1413 roy sarma 576 so these are going to be your main ids okay and finally we can go and we can get the batting statistics of our players so if you go here and if you go to the params and if you pass here 576 
and click on test endpoint so here you will get the all the data related to the Rohit Sharma like how many matches he has played what was the highest total uh, okay and how many innings he has played every data uh, you will get it here whatever data that is shown on the clickbird site all this data we get that here same endpoint we have copied here okay whatever was the if you go in the code snippets it will give you like what is the endpoint slash is the, see before slash in the get we have stored that as a base URL and after that we have used that stats in our path here for the integration relative path see here stats slash v1 player and player id we have made it a parameter here okay rule input we have created so that we can pass multiple parameters from the interface as well if i give 576 and click on test response so this is what you will get the data here all the values how many matches they have played what was the highest in each uh, version of the cricket test odi t20 average values not outs four sixes and whatever the data that you need you just need to show that data onto the interface here okay now after creating a connected system we have discussed like first of all we created a connector system stored the base url and the api key then we created an integration using that connected system here and got the data after that you have to create a format rule why we are using a format rule here is that because let's say if i give the data like this one as of now it is giving the data into this format but it will be difficult to map the data in the interface like this one so first of all what i did here was here i have formatted the data so what I, what i did first of all i got all the player data from here now in in the player data if you see here in the player there is a result okay uh, and uh, okay in the whatever the data that you will get most probably you will get a first parameter as a result then you will get the body and in the body only data is stored now here five headers are there and in there here values are also stored here as well okay so these are the all the different values 16 values that are, are available here so we have stored the values as well in a separate variable after that what we have done now for each values all the 16 values what we want here is that we wanted the data of keys what are the keys the first item in each value is the key here so if you open the first index and if you see matches that is nothing but key here innings runs balls highest so that is our key now ODI is what where is the ODI stats so if you go in the values here in the headers if you go they are passing the ODI the index of ODI is 3 now in each values the third index is going to be the statistics of the ODI here and similarly for the T20 it is the fourth index so I have to, I have found it and I have created a dictionary here now if it is a success let's say the integration is a success I will get the complete data otherwise I will get some error message so this is the data I am getting once I have done with this rule then what are we have done here is we have went and created our UI so if we have in the interface we don't want to show all the 16 data because that is a lot of the data here you can see all the 16 values we are getting here but in the interface I just wanted to show few data only for example 1 3 5 10 13 14 what are these values one is the matches 3 is the runs and then the highest how many centuries is they have scored like this data only I wanted so I just got that particular data only and I created a dictionary for Rohit Sarma and Virat Kohli what is their IDs here and finally with the help of a loop we have just see here for each ODI data we have just shown the data like this one here our ODI data for both of them see here this is the ODI data that is coming here all the data in the key ODI data and the T20 as well so we just have to show with the help of a loop here so that was the configuration of the interface how we have shown that data you can show much more data also if you require for example if I go into Rohit Sarma so you can see the highest the how many success he have hit how many centuries he have hit so all this data we can show much more data as well we can show the teams list we can show their rankings as well so all this thing you can try it on your own and Virat Kohli you can also see the statistics of there and 50 centuries oh my god that is really <laughs> a lot of centuries 
so that was about the overview about like what we have done here if you want a complete overview step by step implementation that also uh, soon i will publish that it will be available in the membership that was all for now guys try to uh, try to implement this project and get all the required data and try to make a dashboard kind of thing there to show much more data like this one okay so that was all about in this section we will soon meet up again in a step by step implementation of this one as well thank you